Ami, hey, we're we're over here. <laughs> of course, I'd find you two here. Needed a safe distance from all the crazy, huh? No one parties quite like our family does, for sure. But no one drinks quite like us either. And they busted out the alcohol early, so I'll keep my siblings nice and safe over here. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, ever the wettest of blankets. Good to see you haven't changed much, Card. <laughs> you make it sound like we never see each other. <laughs> what about you? You're drinking tonight, right? Can I have you two sober for like a little bit, at least? <laughs> but Carlin. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm just kidding. Besides, if we want to talk. Now's the best time to do it. I think I saw Auntie Dee fishing out the karaoke mic. Oof. Yikes. Then yeah, let me enjoy some much-needed sibling time before Uncle Billy starts up with the Ricky Martin singing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, let's hear it. Youngest to oldest, how are you doing? Things are good. Um, Jared and I moved into that new place I was telling you about. The one with the pool? Mm. We move in there on Monday, so we've really just been busy with all that. It's our first house house, so it's exciting, but, you know, stressful. That's right! I forgot it was coming up so soon. Let me know if y'all need help with the looking of the whatnots, yeah? And you? How are things on your end? Are you still... Yeah? <laughs> and how's that? What? Since when? <laughs> well, ain't that the way things go, though. You always know who to call if you need some help with that. Or if you just need some meathead to go beat some people up. Yeah, they'd call me. I am sufficiently meaty enough to beat someone up. And you're also a cream puff. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you, you cream puff? This cream puff has been doing quite well for himself, actually. As a matter of fact, you can hear it for yourself. I think it debuts next Wednesday? What? You got the part, bro? I got the part, bro! <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I know, I know, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's my first real serial cartoon series where I'm not just some background guy, so... Yeah, I'm <laughs> kinda excited. And we're so happy for you, right? <laughs> Thanks, you too. I... yeah, <laughs> it's cool. So, um... How about this giant house full of weirdos we're in, huh? <laughs> I feel like it gets weirder every time we have one of these. Wait, did Uncle Mark tell the popcorn belly story yet? You'll be happy to know he hasn't. You <laughs> did, however, miss me trying to explain to Grandpa Eric what Google Hangout is and how it works. I'm sure that went over well. Wait, doesn't he still have one of those phones with the numbers you have to spin around? It started off with, So I understand this is a computer thing, is that right? Youch. Yeah, it uh took us a while. <laughs> I I love this crowd of yahoos though. For the most part. You know, it took me a while, but yeah. I love this crowd. God, we were so angry when we were younger, you know? All that stuff, all that spite. Love. You know, when mom and dad split, mm. it really caused a rift. People chose sides. It... It got ugly for a while. Yeah. And I won't lie, I held on to that for... Oof, way too long. But now, it's like... All that stuff just washes away, and you're just... Left with the good memories. I never thought it would, you know? I never thought it could... Forgive 
But now... It all seems so long ago. Yeah. It's like... It doesn't matter, you know? Family does. Hmm. As corny as that sounds. All that anger... And I was pissed. Cardlin, you were like a zen turtle. But I was just... <laughs> I was so mad. But you can't hold on to it, you know? It'll just ruin you if you do. You make your peace, you accept your compromises, and you move on. Some people just don't change. And in the end, you end up kind of loving them for it. Hmm. And when did my obnoxious little sister get so astute and wise, hmm? I mean, we've got to have at least one smart one between the three of us, right? I know, I like to think we always just got by on our good looks. <laughs> no, but... You know what I mean, right? I do, I do. You know, I'm just teasing. I mean, I don't think any of us would be here if we didn't think the exact same thing. Well, maybe we'd come to see each other. And Aunt Gloria's mac and cheese. <laughs> but on the real, though, as much as it says about our family that we're able to love them even after all of the... mess, it says a lot about us, too, that we're able to still come here. You two. <laughs> Y'all have grown so much. No longer the confused, angry, depressed, strange little adults you used to be, you know? I mean, I don't know if I get the right to say this, but regardless, I'm really proud of both of you. You've come so far. <sighs> Cardlin. Like you, Ami. You used to be so... mad and resentful, right? Not that you didn't have every right to be, of course. I mean, we were dealt a shitty hand, but you still managed to win. You're so happy now with your life and your new home. Good job, little sis. I'm so happy to see you so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, jeez. Thanks, Kira. <laughs> and you. As the middle child, I imagine it was hard trying to find your place. What with Ami being so fiery and me being so cold, it must have been difficult finding your balance. I often wonder if we... Maybe overlooked you, or your feelings? You've always been so quiet, you know? But, you managed to grow and shine all the same. Even if you didn't get as much light as you deserved, and now... <laughs> Look at you bloom. No, I mean it. I know it's cheesy to say, but... It got better, didn't it? Like, sure, some things got worse, and nothing's perfect, but overall, life just kinda... ...neatly eased up on you, huh? You're only kinda weird now. In all the best ways, too. Ami... I meant that in a good way. <laughs> God. The way you said that just now... It almost felt like we were in the guest bedroom again. Waiting for mom and dad to come in and break the bad news. <laughs> you know, Card, you really helped us that day. Like, if we didn't have that talk. <sighs> I don't know what I would have done. And you, by insisting we stay together, the three of us... It's almost like we changed that day. We went from being siblings to... I don't know, like... I consider you two some of my best friends. And you. Well, as often as Ami and I argued, I'm not sure if we'd ever stick together if it wasn't for you, holding it down. You're always... the glue that held us together. The only thing that can make Cardlin and his big, wordy speeches tolerable. Ami. 
Just kidding. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Remember this, you two? Hands in. Are you serious? Hands in, both of you. <laughs> Aww, the memories. We made it through the worst of it. Now, we're all adults doing our own thing, but this time, we promise that we don't let any of us drift apart, okay? We stay in contact. We remain close. We never let ourselves lose what we fought so hard to gain. Cheesy as ever. Deal. New pact. To remain best friends and keep in contact and... And we'll have to be each other's kids' godparents. What? And the deal is sealed with a uh, hug. Uh, yes, Godfather Cardlin. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, fine, fine. <laughs> Like I had any other choices other than you two anyway. <laughs> Alright, now I think old Mark is about to start up the popcorn belly story. Which means the table should be free. I'ma go ahead and take all of the remaining mac and cheese. Not if I make it there first! Ami! <laughs> Stop her! Ami, wait! <laughs> 